Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and welcome to welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm 20 years old and you subscribe to this channel, so welcome aboard. Welcome aboard on my journey of becoming a YouTuber. And yeah, so today today is Friday. By the time you guys see this video, it will be Friday. And for today's video, I was thinking of doing um my second look with the Alomar Cosmetics Spanglish palette right here. So I want to do a look focused on the color. This color right here, Tiene Swing, which is a cranberry look, a cranberry eye. So we're going to do a cranberry smoky eye. So yeah, before you need, before before we get started, if you're new here, subscribe down below and turn on, turn on your notification bells. I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. And if there's any other, like, in between that happens, I'll there will be notifications on my Instagram page. My Instagram will be linked in the description box, as always. So, yeah, we're going to do our eyes before our face today because if we want to manage all, at, even at all fallout. But first, I just want to do my eyebrows really quick. So I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil from, oh my, eyebrow comb from Lavish Cosmetics. I'm just advancing myself a little bit more. Just, you know, placing my hairs. If you guys notice the lightning, the lighting is pretty, pretty garbage because we are pretty late. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to add, I'm going to put my brow gel before filling in my brows. And you're just going to see, I've already done this trick once or twice before. And I really want to make sure to see, you know, if it's that a problem or not. So I'm just going to take, and I'm going to take my Morphe, my Morphe eyebrow brush. And I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take my trusty eyebrow pencil in the shade americano first and then we're going to set it with a powder we're just going to go like one extra step today just to make sure to like let's see if the product really going to work because this eyebrow pencil you guys see my review on it and you know it's not my favorite it's you know it's pretty stiff pretty hard to work with but once you get the hang out of it it works so good I'm just gonna like you know fill up my fill up my hairs here, and then my hairs you know they're not they're not straight or anything. So I'm just, I'd like to draw a line and fill in any sparse all lines. So now that that is done, I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take that opening oh, that Murphy. That Morphe brush that I was just talking about right now, and now I don't remember where I where I put it. Wait a minute, I'm just looking through my brushes, to see where the hell did I drop? Did I drop it or did I, you know, just bury it? But look, it's okay. We'll use my lavish cosmetics one. We'll use this one, and I'm gonna take um my black brow powder that I've been using. I've been using for a long time. I'm just using a little bit of setting, setting spray just to have the product wet and I'm just going to use, I'm going to use my Alamar Cosmetics Mirror because for this product I really want to be precise and really, you know, get it in at all the right places. We really want to have a, like a really good look for this. I'm trying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add a little bit more lighting. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try, try and add something. Let's see what I can do. Let me just, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I haven't found a way. So, but I already just finished doing the eyebrows off camera. 
So now we're gonna do, we're gonna prime our eyelids and then we're gonna start doing our eye makeup. To prime our eyelids, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna mix Too Faced Varnish Way in Cloud and Maybelline Fit Me in Light as we normally do. I've talked like I've talked before, I do not use my Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow base that much anymore. Just because I like better, I like not a clear base, I like better, uh, you know, a base that, you know, it's, you know. You guys know what I mean. We're going to use my gray sponge like we normally do to blend out any concealer products and all that. So I'm just doing that. And of course, we're going to be putting concealer around our eyebrows like we normally do, but we won't do that right now. Or maybe, yeah, we will. So, yeah, it's Maybelline Fit Me in Light, which is my favorite color of the Maybelline Fit Me. Like, I like, I used to like fair, but I think that light is a little bit better just because cloud is so light. Yeah. I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna change setup, so I'll just be right back. Sorry for that. Okay, so yeah, that is much better. So now just do, oh my god, dude, my brushes are filthy, guys. I haven't cleaned my brushes in for like maybe not like maybe two, three days. So I'm gonna clean my brushes once I'm done filming this video. So tell me guys, is this lighting a lot better? I'm pretty sure it is. So now that this is done, we're just gonna apply some setting powder. I'm gonna take in my powder brush. Like I like this set, the setup that I was in. It's just, I would normally film always in the day. And I think today I was just busy all day and I, you know, I've been pre-filming a lot. Well, I've been pre-filming for, you know, almost a whole month. So yeah. It's, cr it's crazy to pre-film for a full month. And like, you know, you know, I don't really have time to do much. So if you guys, if you guys notice that you guys seen like a lot of different outfits and all that, just because I've been, I pre-filmed like this, I pre-filmed like a whole month, but in like seven days, it's been so crazy. I've been filming so many videos and I know like it's, you know, it's crazy not to have some real live content. But there will be eventually some. Yeah. So now we're going to jump straight into our eyes. I'm going to take the Alamada Cosmetics Spanglish palette. With my Lavish Cosmetics Blending Eye Brush. I'm going to blend the shade Ha Ha Ha. Which is my favorite. My favorite shade of the palette. It's such like a nice neutral brown. And I feel like it goes good with any look. Any look you're going for. If you're going like super bold. And in this palette is great for a makeup artist. So if you have like a makeup artist lover in your life. Or even if you are a makeup artist. This palette is amazing. Like all out of my, all out of my cosmetics house look amazing. This is just the first one I try. And I would definitely like, you know, purchase the the, the, the Carina palette one and two. Well, it's volume one and two. Let me just look. I'm always looking. Always looking to perfect my eye. I want just to apply like a light color in the crease. And then I'm gonna put the cranberry on the lid and then we're gonna do something a little bit darker on the outer corners just not right now so now we're gonna take the star of the show which is which is Dane Swing which is that. so I'm gonna use this on my this brush from Morphe and of course we're gonna be using some setting spray because this shade has to be wet i cannot recommend use wetting straight the eyeshadow in the palette 
as a good fuck up the eyeshadow. So this shade is described on their website as a nice cranberry shade. This is what it looks like swatched. I like it. But we are going to make it a lot more intense. So I'm wetting my brush, dipping into the product, and then wetting again. So. Okay, wait a minute. Brushes everywhere. Yeah, it's not that not that cranberry as we think it is, but we are gonna make it work. It's just uh me, when I get a palette, I want to try and create all the looks I can possibly do with it before saying that I completely, you know, tried every look possible with the palette. You guys know that I have done a look with them, done a look with this color, I used this one, uh, no, I, I used this shade, I have tutorial coming using this shade, I have tutorial coming this one. <laughs> fun times really fun times that are coming our way so now we're gonna do is we're gonna do the other eye the other eye I'm gonna do it off camera not you know using my mirror because I really want to focus so I'm gonna do the other eye exactly the same like this and we'll be back okay so I just finished doing the the eyes look how beautiful it looks like it's a nice soft cranberry look but it's so beautiful these shades and it really looks nice so now we're gonna deepen out our outer V we're gonna take I'm gonna take my Morphe blending brush we're gonna go into my essential 2 palette from Violet Boss I'm gonna grab the shade we're gonna mix clay and chocolate brown and we're gonna just kind of you know we're gonna mix those two and put them in the crease like we normally do mix the two just to get like you know a nice dark crease and now we're gonna grab my small crease brush I'm gonna grab chocolate brown and I'm gonna come you know apply it in the outer and the outer corners it that's what it, that's what it's good for doing your eyes before your face and then you can customize how you want your looks to look after. Hmm. Oh, big girl. Okay. I don't know. Am I able to be able to like make it the same? Yeah, maybe I will. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something that I've never done before on my channel. I just wanna try it out today with you guys. As you guys are my friends, then you guys understand if I fail. It's just my first try. My first time trying, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm just grabbing something because I have all my makeup like scattered everywhere. And this is going to be a little bit tricky. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. But we're going to try. So I'm really wetting my brush this time. Really getting it soaked. Saturated more. I'm going to grab the black eyeshadow. And really saturate that shadow. I'm gonna kind of make do like a faux eyeliner look. Let me just, you know, place my palette. <sighs> Fuck, that's my mom. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay guys. 
So look, I did like a just like, like you know, a full eyeliner. Look, I've always. love doing looks like this it's been always my favorite my favorite look to do and now we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and make the full eyeliner look into like a full cat look so if i fail okay i'll just do this off camera and i'll just show you guys the final results so this is the best i can do it does make it really nice so now, what we're going to do is we're just going to do the lower lash line. So I'm going to take my lower lash line brush. I'm going to grab ha ha ha. I'm going to put that underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in. Another one of my brushes fell. Just give me some. Now I'm gonna take my smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna take chocolate brown. I mean, not eyeshadow brush, but pencil brush. My scratchy one. Now that's done. All we gotta do now is apply our highlighter. For my highlighter, I'm just gonna use this Trustique mini highlighter stick and I say Maldives Luminescent and what we're going to do is we're just going to put some right here in the inner corners I'm just going to yeah, yeah, tap it in trying to see how it looks it doesn't look that great so, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blending eye brush and one of my favorite shades in my e.l.f. palette. You guys will see this shade. It is one of the best. And I'm going to apply just a matte, a matte white on top. Um, on the tip of my eyebrows so now that we're done we're gonna do our face this we're done with our face all we're gonna have to do is apply our mascara so first I'm gonna conceal under my eyes up like this you guys notice I only dip my brush in once Oh. oh, last time I did my eyes before my face. Last time I did my face before my eyes. And to be quite honest, I liked it. I really liked it. So I've been testing out my my Revlon Color Stay Foundation that I got. You guys saw me, I tried it out for the first time in my fall makeup tutorial that I filmed. It's already, it was, been, it was up on Wednesday. And yeah, I, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna try, we're gonna wear it again today. And I know that there will be, there's already, I already gave my review, I think, online, but, gray sponge. But so far, the first like three times that I tried it, I really liked it. The coverage is really great. It's not full coverage, but it, I mean, yeah, it is full coverage. So if you do not like full coverage, this, that, that foundation is not for you. But if you love full coverage, and especially if you have like normal, dry skin and you're afraid of like the matte full coverage look my foundation is perfect for you 
I don't know why I bother putting on so much on my concealer. Then I know I'm just gonna apply like a pound of foundation. So now that I take pink sponge, I use the Revlon Colorstay Makeup, the Normal to Dry Skin Formula. I use the shade 110, which is poor. So, um, ivory. I was about to say porcelain, but no, it's ivory. I have a friend who uses it in the shade porcelain. Girl, that girl. I'm just gonna wet my brush and my sponge a little bit. That girl who uses the shade, like a really light shade in all of her foundations. She is bare, like 365. She's there like 365 days a year. I don't blame her because she's like hella blonde. Like she's super blonde. She's like a blonde Barbie almost. And since she's little, her parents are like, like don't wear, like you know, wear sunscreen. Don't you know? Don't get tan. Like don't. Like it was hard having her mom letting her go to the beach with us or like you know to the pool and all that because she was because her mom was so scared of her like you know getting a little bit darker than she is like she is like you know porcelain or like as foundation she uses Too Faced Born This Way and Cloud. Okay, imagine that. I mean, I got the wrong shade and I'm starting using Cloud. Here she wears Cloud on the foundation. So, this is one even layer, and I really like the finish. It is dewy because you know it's not with the dry skin. But it's no problem with that. I'm going to use my setting brush to set my face. I don't not like using my sponge with this foundation. I have never tried it with a sponge. But, yeah. I like to just, you know, pack this powder under my eyes. Because my under eyes is my most creases part. So I'm going to have my makeup on for the rest of the night until probably like 10, 11 o'clock. And I won't be coming back at the end of the day telling you guys how I feel about it just because you know 10 11 o'clock we are just watching movies me and my boyfriend and so that's what we usually do we cuddle up we watch the movies but don't worry there will be on Wednesday I will be coming on social well you guys already seen you guys already seen that I've come on social media to give you guys my final thoughts and no, I think I'm not gonna do it on. Yeah. Well, I've already done that on Wednesday. Now I'll be coming back next Monday. Next Monday, I will be on my, my Instagram stories and I'll be telling you guys my final results. Do I like it or do I not like it? So far, you guys have seen Wednesday. I've already talked. I like it. I like it a lot right now. Would my opinion change in a week? And this right now is contouring. So I want to know how are you guys doing? I don't ask very often how you guys are doing. So how are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling with COVID and all of that? I'm feeling great about it. You know, 
And now I'm just bronzing. You know, bronzing with lightest shade in these beauty bronze in paradise palette. Oh, lightly bronzing this time. Lightly bronzing. Okay. This video is already 25 minutes long, so all I gotta do is apply. I need to apply a little bit of mascara. I don't want nothing too much in my lashes today, so I'm just gonna put on my luminous, my carbon black mascara from uh, L'Oreal. I'm just gonna do one coat on each eye. So I really don't want to apply too much. But if you want if you guys want to recreate this look, do go on and put on some. False lashes, fl false lashes. I just had a bad experience with false lashes, and I don't like them at all. Like at all. So now, all you gotta do is you gotta put on our lip. I'm using um, Cab Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Charming. Got a high lift or so chat. I so chapped. And this is a lip gloss that I wanna wear. I just kind of look. So yeah guys, oh man, okay I thought it was almost hitting, but yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope that you guys enjoyed my second look on my, not my third look using the Alamar Cosmetics palette, next look, next video, it will be a tutorial using these two, it will be such a like a matte pink, like matte Barbie pink eye look. So yeah, and so that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please take care of each other, and with all this going on, take a moment, take a moment, and talk on the phone to somebody who is alone during this horrible time. And yeah, I hope this video is like a nice 30, 30 25 to thirty minutes of happiness that you guys have each, each, each three, each three times I post this in a video in a week. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one.